I just want to um, say something because I noticed when I did the reading, I didn't point it out. And later, after rewatching this reading and preparing it for uploading, I noticed that, um, you know, the actual question of this reading was not as your <coughs> is your twin flame awakened to being awakened but looking at all these piles and what I got um, he rather gave me the answer to is your twin flame awakened to who you are so for all of those who have never met their twin flame in real life um, and maybe that's a celebrity so for you um, yeah, the question was, is this person awakened to your true self? Do they know your name? Do they know who you are? Have they seen you? Something like that. Okay, I just want to point that out because sometimes it makes no sense. I was wondering because I know some twins are awakened and um, they are on a soul journey already, even if they are a celebrity. But, you know, cards showed me no. So I was like wondering, what is this? You know, so then I found out. Um, by looking at these readings again that he actually gave me the answer to do they know who you are for everyone who is in a soul connection with someone famous okay just want to say this and point that out because it's important to know this okay see Hello, you guys purple lights welcome to our reading you see five piles in front of you these piles are all about is your twin flame awakened yes or no so please choose one of these five paths we have the garden here um yeah i don't know what these are called then we have the cross the bell and the eggs and you also see the numbers so please choose whatever you pile you're drawn to i would suggest in this case choose just one pile because you don't want to get um yeah like all confused you know because this is a yes or no rating. Is your twin flame awakened to the connection? Yes or no. Yeah? I see you at the piles. Bye, guys. Please subscribe to this channel. Bye. So, let's start. Ooh. Let's start with our pile <coughs> one, guys. The park or the garden. So let's see, yes or no, is your person awakened to your connection? Your person could be in the public eye. So first of all, I want to have the cards laugh about it. Okay. <laughs> it's a, <laughs> it says, um, I love this. This is so funny. It says, um, there is doubt about this because um, you should think about the logic of your thinking. Something is not right. <laughs> well, if they are in the public eye, you know, why should, have, why should they, you know, why should they know who you are? But, well, they could have been awakened, you know, but that's funny. Well, it says happy end, <clears throat> so that's good. <laughs> and what is saying? Share your gifts, 62. I laugh about it. <clears throat> so no, they're not, they're not awakened yet, yeah? They're sharing the gift, their gift in the public eye. And there will be a happy end. I mean, this tells me that they will awaken, but they are not yet. Okay, so you should laugh about it. I mean, it's almost sounding like, yeah, what do you want? You know, this person is in the public hour. How should they, <laughs> how should they be awakened? You know, it's something like that. <clears throat> Let's see. I'm going to use the vice versa tarot to get some more. Well, they could have been awakened, right? Why are they not awakened yet? Pal one. The public person. Why are they not awakened yet? Show me. <coughs> Why is Pal one not awakened yet? 
we have the thunder. <clears throat> Why are they not awakened yet? The hermit. Mm. <clears throat> what I'm getting in is there will be some event here. With this thunder and lightning, this is for me always an event. This is an event that enlightens your person, that awakens your person. This has not happened yet. Yeah, The Pegasus here, the message, it has not happened yet. Your person could be Virgo and they are on a spiritual path, but they're not awakened to the Twin Flame journey yet. Yeah, <coughs> Laugh about it. I think that's the best. <laughs> This could also mean share your gifts, you know. Everything will be alright. There will be a happy ending. You will see when they awakening. <clears throat> I feel here even that this is an awakening to your person. Yeah. I feel that. <clears throat> you will know when they awaken because you will you will experience this like you you will see you will see when this happens by yourself. There will be a significant event where you will know that <clears throat> your twin flame is awakened to the connection. Okay, so that's all what I'm having pile one. Bye guys. Uh, rods. Um, when I made the introduction, I didn't know that it was called rods. So you chose the rods. Okay. So with the rods, I'm sensing some kind of conflict here, some kind of um, discourse. Yeah. Let's see, maybe two people being on different paths also. Let's see, is your person awakened <clears throat> to the Twin Flame connection? It says definitely. Okay, wow. And I also want to get this card. It says, you don't have it in your hand. Some things we cannot influence what happens, happens. So this is all divine timing. You cannot influence this. Maybe that's why the rods is here. You know, you have a conflict with influencing it. And your person might have to, yeah, decision. Look at this, two rods, two paths. There is, <clears throat> your person is definitely awakened to the journey, pal two, but they have, they have to make a decision on which path they go right now, okay? And this depends on divine timing, whatever they decide. Yeah, there's some event happening probably, which brings conflict and then they decide which path they want to go. <clears throat> Accept love. Yeah, it's like they are awakened, but they have to make a decision on which path they walk. I feel here that there are two paths that they could take in this journey. Okay. Look at this. Beautiful. The, the, um, the energy is flowing between the two of you. This person definitely is awakened. Yes. They definitely are awakened to their twin flame journey. So let's get can I get more? What are what is this decision they have to make? <coughs> what is this decision? Interesting, interesting, interesting. I'm trying to look what this means. We have the three of pentacles here and the page of cups. In, this is an internal, like they are awakened. You see how this rose is blooming here? You see this little rose is blooming. So they're working with you. You know, the three of pentacles, um, <clears throat> there is a third party involved, you know. Um, that's what I'm seeing. But the flower is blooming. Yeah, this person also, the three of pentacles means that <clears throat> they look for stability, you know, they're working on their pentacles now, they're working in a team, they're working on their stability right now. What is this decision? Oh, oh yeah, true. The decision is about if they want to work on whatever they're doing with the third party right now, 
that's on the pentacles it's a career related but your flower is blossoming here or if they want to make the offer you know and the page of cups is giving the love but being immature you know this is um, giving the love to the point where you don't really know anything about this journey you know what i mean it's like they're at the beginning of their soul journey and the universe is waiting for their decision to they, they do they want to keep keep moving with their career yeah but the, the flower is blossoming behind so they can either do that or they can focus on love but then they have to grow up you so know i see a page of cups here a page of cups is this love where you admire someone from afar you know if they want to accept this so they're right now making this decision they're definitely awakened and the universe is right now telling them to give them a choice which path they want to walk if they <clears throat> accept this love from afar maybe from you then there will be some changes in their career and there might be trouble yeah with the rods i think they have trouble deciding what they want but basically you know the universe is um not notching them to accept love <clears throat> and to work on this page of cups because you know when you mature in love you are the king of cups and then it's the best way to offer your love not as a page of cups that's a very immature love also you know so it's like the universe is giving them the decision okay you want to work on your career or you want to work on love right now you know that's a basic decision they have to face right now so that's what's going on but your person is definitely awakened to the twin flame journey okay <laughs> i see you bye guys please subscribe oh, pile three you chose the cross number 36 so this is for sure a spiritual connection spiritual love yeah so is your person awakened Ooh, the, the bell is your person awakened to this twin flame connection it says keep an open mind okay and why are you waiting this is the opportunity you have been waiting for yeah you have to pursue in order to reach your goal so <laughs> so they're in between right now you know it says keep an open mind and then why are you waiting it's like as if you're saying well why are you waiting it's like they are they you know the cross also tells me that the burden will have an end soon but i want to look what this is we have the okay we have the carousel of thoughts yeah so this person is thinking <clears throat> Are they awakened to this connection? They're very much in their mind about this spiritual bond. I feel here that the universe is waiting for them to decide if they want to go on this journey. You know, it's like, how can I say this? It's like you made this contract with your twin flame, but before, shortly before you awaken, it's like you tell the universe you want change and you want this twin flame connection because... It brings a lot of change in your life and somehow we all before we started this twin flame journey we all told the universe for some kind of reason you know this even could be unconsciousness in your dreams you told the universe yes i'm ready you can bring this in and the universe is waiting for this from this person this person has not made their mind up <clears throat> if they want to be awakened <laughs> basically thank god yeah, see, they're, they're caught in their island. The universe is waiting for them to save them. You know, this is like you ask for the universe to come in. This is what we all did. You know, before we got, went on the twin flame journey, it was in our contract. Yes, in our soul contract. But we have to ask the universe to bring us our twin flame in, our perfect match. And the universe is waiting for this person to do this. We have thank God here and the cross yeah let me see <clears throat> why is this person waiting or well, what is this person contemplating about <clears throat> okay this was fast <clears throat> okay this person is in the public eye and there's a lot of fights here yeah trouble you see this this is an internal conflict 
it's like <clears throat> seeing from a different perspective. It's like um, usually they're up here, you know. So this person is usually sitting here. They see it from this perspective. They don't see the crowd. But here they see the crowd. So looking from the crowd's perspective, they, they know going on this twin flame journey will be a burden for this crowd. So they're followers, you know. So they keep an open mind, but they know once they are on this twin flame journey, um, you know, they also have to concentrate on the twin flame journey. So it could be that <clears throat> they think that, you know, they have this responsibility to always be the leader. And here, this is an external, no, this is internal tool. Yeah, I mean, we're looking here at the hanged man. This is making a decision and the hanged man, you know, is gone here. So this is about making a decision. The lion and the, <clears throat> what is this, eagle? <clears throat> yeah, it's almost as if they, um, you know, this is all about balance. Balancing out. They try to balance this out. Because one person here, I feel they even know that in this twin flame journey, one is a follower and one is the leader. And they think, how should we balance out this eagle with the lion? I mean, those are two different people, you know. <clears throat> how should we match this? How should this work? You know. <clears throat> and it almost feels as if inside of themselves they are not balanced inside of them they have this lion that wants to <clears throat> really go on this journey and move and then they also have the eagle which also is for me a symbol of responsibility and leadership and the lion is wild and free so it's basically <clears throat> they have a conflict with being in the public eye being in this responsibility and they don't know how to combine this with this journey because they think, okay, I want to be wild and free because for a twin flame journey, you also have to make certain decisions where y you can't be in a responsibility because everything is changing around you. Yeah. So basically what I'm feeling is like the universe is waiting for them to go to make a decision what they want. Do they want the lion or do they want the eagle? Basically similar like part two. So no, they're not awakened yet. Okay pile three <laughs> that's all what i'm having pile four is your twin flame awakened to the connection well i think he, they had a calling here with this bell but we're gonna see first card it says don't overdo it okay <clears throat> and then we have you could you could you could regret it don't overdo it don't go too fast <clears throat> this person is slowing down here oh my gosh look at this speeding up i'm feeling here you want them to be awakened you want that they speed up you want this whole twin flame journey to speed up for this the divine masculine has to be awakened but the universe is like it's like this person internally tells the universe no they want to go slow down they heard the bell we're talking here from a higher self's perspective. Yeah, they heard the bell. They know that in order to, you know, in order to be awakened, <clears throat> they have to speed up their life. But for some kind of reason, this higher self of this person is saying, no, we're not ready yet. We want to play around a little bit. See this? This is all about letting go and flowing and um, enjoying. <clears throat> that's interesting it's interesting what these cards say i mean i'm asking um are they awakened to the twin flame journey they heard the bell but they're resisting i feel here they're resisting they're telling spirit i'm not ready yet i'm not ready and the universe probably brings them in a lot of karmic stuff so that they go into this that they can awaken this person. Isn't it interesting? Why is this person resisting the calling? 
<clears throat> just what falls out why are they resisting the calling okay the lover's card and that's a dark card look at this those are dark this is union for me the alchemy bringing it together and the ace of cups see again we have um i see this tree burning <clears throat> i mean we have the bell here which is a 10 this is the awakening this is the universe doing the awakening um, we have the 27 here, which is a 9, so they're shortly before this. But internally, I mean, they have internally... I feel here this person... <laughs> it's almost as if on a higher level, like on a higher self level, guys. They know for a long time, like if they hear the calling, don't overdo it. Like if they hear the calling and they they would be awakened that they have to um, admire you from the far and they don't want this they want union right away this person is very impatient this person wants to speed everything up like you know they don't want to admire you only from afar they want twin flame union right away so they have a problem and once the universe is awakening you know then you go on this journey and it's almost as if the higher self, like we're talking here about higher selves also. It's almost as if this person is saying, I'm not ready yet. I'm not ready because I have to learn to be patient. It's like the universe teaches them patient first before they awaken them. Okay, that, that's what I'm seeing. So no, but for your person is not awakened yet to the twin flame journey. Isn't that interesting? They learn patience first and then they get awakened because I feel the journey you know you always have to go in the flow and this person is someone who's working really hard and they always want to speed up and be the first one so if they awaken them it would be chaos and the spirit is saying no let's just wait a little bit before the calling is coming in isn't that interesting <laughs> that's all what i'm having pile four, hello five. pile x so is your person awakened to this twin flame journey we have the x here the x is all about new beginning so let's see it says there is no guarantee. Okay. <laughs> and. Okay. Get an advice. You don't have to answer all your questions yourself. Sometimes you need someone that knows better. And a lot of times it helps when you talk to someone else. Okay. So this is about there is no guarantee. Get yourself an advice so they're not awakened yet awakened is when they break through you know when they pre break through the egg this is interesting what is this all about friendship okay yeah that's getting an advice from friends <clears throat> and we have spread the light the five is about change Can you get show me what this is all about? What do they need to question or what are they questioning here? Yep, they don't make a decision yet. What are they questioning? What why is this person not awakened? <clears throat> okay, this is movement. Okay, yeah, they have to let go of their old skin. See? This is death. Like, you know, the, the Two of Swords not making a decision. Because they have to let go of a version of themselves, you know? They are, this is the egg. This person is awakened. Um, this person um, is experiencing a rebirth. So they have to let go of an old version of themselves but there's no guarantee 
that they like the no, new version of themselves, okay? Listen, this is a rebirth, you know? You see this here on this card. They're not ready, though. They're not ready. This is internally. They don't want to be reborn yet. And that's spreading the light, you know? Moving on your journey and spreading the light. And they're not ready. So it's almost as if they are in, brought into a situation where maybe friends should tell them that it would be good if they're if they change you know this person is fearing change because when the egg breaks it's like they are a newborn this is a newborn person and their higher self is you know this person has a problem with change because they also go into the soul tax soon after with spreading the light or it could be that they are in their soul task and the moment they awaken they would leave that they would leave that spread the light and they would change into someone else and so i think they they're talking to friends right now a lot about change and is it okay to change something like that so the universe is waiting for them to make a move on that and then they awaken them okay okay guys <laughs> i hope you like it bye